compare real world problems using rates. So a rate is a ratio that compares different quantities with different units of measurement. So for example, we rode 20 miles in two minutes. That would be really fast. Um, 20 miles in 30 minutes. Um, a rate, a unit rate, is a rate that compares a quantity with one unit of the honor, other quantity. So saying that you drove 20 miles per hour is a unit rate you drove 20 miles in one hour. So an example would be a car travel 600 miles in 10 hours. Write the unit rate that represents how fast the car was traveling per hour. So I would do 600 miles over 10 hours. I want to know per hour, so I would divide this by 10 to get one hour. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So this is 60 miles per hour. All right, so we're going to write the unit rate for spending $2,356 on two TVs. We're going to figure out how much it costs for one or per TV. So I would divide by two. So that would be one TV to, uh, let's do the division over here. Two goes into two once. So one thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars. Per TV. All right, if you earn $72 for three hours of babysitting, how much are you getting paid per hour? So you're getting paid $24 per hour. All right, if you are traveling 241 miles using 10 gallons of gasoline, divide this by 10, divide the top by 10. So this would be 24 miles per gallon. All right, number four, losing 55 pounds in 11 weeks. How many would you lose per week? We divide by 11. So 
So they lost five pounds per week. All right. Two convenience stores sell chocolate candy. Store one sells five candy bars for $5.25, and store two sells seven ca candy bars for $5.60. Which store has a better unit rate? So we are going to solve the unit rate for each, and then we are going to compare them. So one store is $5.25. For five candy bars, we're going to divide by five. So for one candy bar, it costs Sorry, I messed up. Bring that two down. It can't go into two. It's into 25 five times. So one dollar and five cents for store one. Store two is five dollars and sixty cents for seven candy bars. So we're gonna divide by seven. Seven times eight is 56. So this one is 80 cents per candy bar. So which one has a better unit rate? That is going to be store two. It's cheaper. All right, number six, a minivan travels 180 miles with five gallons of gasoline. An SUV travels 216 miles with eight gallons of gasoline. Which car has a better gas mileage so they can go farther on um, a smaller amount of gas? So we have the minivan... It's 180 miles for five gallons. We're going to divide this by five to get one. And divide the top by five. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble dividing today. Five goes into 18 three times. Goes into 36 times. So this is 36 miles per gallon. Okay, the SUV. It's 216 miles for eight gallons, divide by eight. Eight times two, 16. This is five, bring down the six. Eight times seven is 56. So this is 27 miles per gallon. So that means that the minivan has better gas mileage. It can go farther on a mile. All right. This says to graph the unit rate $5 per hour. So I'm going to do time on my x-axis. This is hours. So start zero, one, two, three, four, 
five. And then my Y axis is going to be money and dollars. We are gonna count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So for one hour, we make $5. Two hours, we make 10. Three hours, we make 15. Four hours, we make 20. And five hours, we make 25. So that's how I'd graph that unit rate. And then this one says graph the unit rate three children per adult. So I'm going to put adults down here. And then my y axis is children three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So three children per one adult. If there's two adults, it's six children, three adults, nine children, four adults, 12 children, five adults, 15 children.